Well, for the first time in its almost 45-year history, the Pan Mass Challenge is naming a CEO. And as WBZ's Lisa Hughes explains, the man assuming that role is no stranger to the event or its leadership. We're so excited about this billion-dollar plateau. PMC oh, President cool. Jarrett Collins is <laughs> eager to assume his new role as CEO effective January 1st. I feel very honored, actually, to be part of the PMC to begin with in any capacity. I started riding 15 years ago. So to have the opportunity and the responsibility, really, to continue to lead the PMC into the future uh, is just great. PMC founder and executive director Billy Starr isn't leaving. He hired Collins five years ago and says enhancing the leadership team gives him an opportunity to focus on regional and national outreach as the PMC prepares to cross the billion dollar fundraising threshold in 2024. This is a once in a 45 year opportunity to amplify our mission for the same but obvious reason to get more people to register to ride this event. A beloved bikeathon and the world's most successful athletic fundraiser. And this is what a bike was meant to do, and also how an individual can make an outsized statement. The One in a Billion campaign aims to mark an extraordinary achievement and the next era in PMC fundraising. So we're fortunate that we've got the Dana-Farber in our own backyard, but we need to keep supporting them because that progress won't happen on its own. This event just raised $72 million. I believe, we believe, we could do $100 million, but it is predicated by rider registration. The ride isn't until the first weekend in August, but planning is already underway. And registration for the 2024 Pan Mass Challenge opens up in January. In Needham, Lisa Hughes, WBZ News. Hmm. It's just such an annual event for so many people yeah. in our community and Massachusetts. And you can imagine, for people around the country, they love coming here to participate. Become woven into the, the fabric of the community, 100%.